Good morning, everyone. Um, it's Mr. Finn here. Um, those people who don't know me, head of biology, uh, just so we allow everyone to log on, uh, what I thought we'd do at the start is have a little quiz. So uh, there are three questions that hopefully you can see. Um, uh, just if I'd like just to just have a go, uh, I'll give you a few minutes to get these done. Um, obviously, this is new uh, for everyone concerned, including myself. So uh, um, bear with me, uh, but hopefully we'll uh, uh, we'll be able to go through the PowerPoint a little practice later in the lesson. Okay, I'll give you a few minutes to get these questions done, and we'll we'll start. Uh, as you go along, uh, there is a Q&A uh, section that you'll be able to type and write questions in. Um, as you can see, Mr Hayes is already, already part of the chat. He would be pleased to know. If you could, any questions as we go along, you can write them in there and we'll, and we'll, we'll, we'll answer them best. Um, there's also sections that I'm going to stop and pause so we can get these questions that asked about the course or anything we're doing today or or anything uh, sort of sixth form best, best we can answer okay I'll, I'll give you a few more minutes to get these questions done anyway Put your answers to the questions. Uh, you can do that via the and uh, we will publish these so you can see the answers. We'll, we'll go through the answers in the PowerPoint. If you want to confirm what you've got, you can write them in. Um, just give them a minute to let you get these done. So um, I'm going to make a start now. Um, hopefully you've had a chance to have a go at these questions. Uh, so the uh, first of all, what I want to like to say is uh, welcome. Uh, thanks for logging in and being able to work out log into this lesson. Um, it took me a while to get my head around it as well. Um, obviously, this is not how we would ideally like to do this lesson. I'd like you to obviously be in college and get a, get to meet us all um, and um, be more. Or, uh, interactive, but the way the world it is at the moment, I think I think this is a, a give you an idea what what will course will be about. Anyway, so um, what we'd like to do is first of all welcome you to 
A-level biology. As I said, my name is Mr. Finn, and I'm the head of biology, or the lead of biology. Um, so what I want to do first of all is to go through the answers to the questions. So the first question uh, was looking at the organelles. Now, uh, in uh, GCSE, you're familiar with the organelles that you need to know for plant, animal, cell, and bacteria cell. But um, you can see here that there are a lot more detail of what organelles you need to explore in A level. So it's basically taking it to the next level. Uh, so it's looking closely at all the organelles involved. Hopefully you can remember some of these from the um, induction booklet that you'd have done uh, recently. Uh, but you can see here that it's it, it goes into more detail. Uh, this is uh, one of the topics that you'll start exploring at the start of year 12 when you come back. Um, so you can see all the, all the different organelles there. OK. Um, the uh, next two questions. Uh, so the next one is what is transcription? So transcription is the first stage of protein synthesis in which mRNA copy of a gene is made from DNA in the nucleus. And the final one is uh, can you name the properties of water? So I've, I've listed the, the properties of water there. So there's a very high specific heat capacity. Has a high latent heat evaporation, it's very cohesive, lower density when solid, and is also a good solvent. So hopefully you did you did well there. Um, so as I said, welcome to this PowerPoint. Um, later on in, uh, in this lesson, I'm going to do a small practical with you, uh, and we'll you'll be able to see me live. So there's a bonus for everyone. Uh, so. Um, First thing I wanted to do is why study A level biology. Now, um, this slide just summarises why why I believe you should be able to do it. So it's uh, I'll just go through this. So A level biology will give you an, an exciting insight into the com contemporary world of biology. It covers key concepts of biology and the development of practical skills uh, on integrated throughout the course. Uh, theoretical knowledge. Knowledge and the focus on current practical techniques will support your development as a future scientist. You will learn about the core concepts of biology, about the impact of biological research, and how it links to everyday life. Uh, you will learn to apply your knowledge, investigate and solve problems in a range of contexts. Now, the biology course is uh, covers a wide variety of different topics. Um, I think if you think if I think back to students that are taking it the course over the last few years, everyone's got their own interests in biology. Some people like the ecology side, so that links to geography. Some people like more um, like biochemistry side, and it's it's relatable to all different types of subjects. Uh, you will find with the course that there are areas that you you will really enjoy. I enjoy it. Um, and uh, I like all the different aspects that you, you will go through and explore. Um, now, taking this course, I'll just move on to the next slide. Um, right. Uh, taking this course uh, will obviously put in a, in a good stead, I believe, for uh, future education or future careers. So, um, I've put here that you work in the science industry, like the NHS or biomedical fields. Uh, and I've put certain degrees, including pharmacy, bio, biomedicine, forensics and zoology. Now, no employee or no university is going to think less of you for taking a biology, degree, uh, biology course because the wide range of skills you will develop will put you in a good stead. OK, it's a fantastic foot in for what you want to do in the future. And I re really recommend that you, you know, participate in this in this A level because it will broaden your horizons. Um, there's so many skills you will learn throughout this that are so transferable. Employees and universities will want to snap you up. OK, um, you might think I'm obviously going to say this, but it is true. OK. Uh, I can't recommend doing this course highly enough. OK. So 
So um, I'm going to start now uh, exploring the course in more detail. So uh, this is just a slide, just in a, a brief overview. So we in Cansport take the uh, OCRA specification from, from that exam board. Um, and we have done since 2015, once it was, once it was introduced. Um, and um, all students are expected to complete the full A-level course. So it's a two year course. We don't now offer the one year or the AS uh, course. So if you enrol, you, you're expected to do it for two, for two years. Um, this slide just overviews what you will do uh, in your two years. So in the course, there are six modules and we'll look at the modules in more detail uh, later in this lesson today. So um, in your first year, which would have been the AS year, but in your year one, you will explore the first four modules and then in year two, you will explore modules five and six. OK. Um, now, how the course lays out, module one is more the practical based and is a link to the practical endorsement, the PAGs or required practicals like you've done in your GCSEs. Um, that, uh, that's similar to what you did in your GCSEs and you would do a range of different skills. Uh, that is basically module one and they will fit in throughout your two years. You will do require practicals and I'll explain about them later in the lesson. Uh, module two is the foundation. So these are like the key, key concepts that you will explore. Um, so for example, I mentioned about the organelles of the cells. So obviously cells is a key element, a key concept in biology. That's one of the modules that you'll explore in your first, well, in your first year. Um, actually, in your first topic, you will explore this. And then um, modules three and four, five and six, go into more detail about those foundation biology concepts. So you will explore them in further detail as you go along. Um, so you get more and more in depth as, as the course develops. OK. Um, just move on. So uh, what is in these modules. So I've just put a range of different uh, concepts here. So you can see the organelles, uh, micro microscopes, um, biological molecules at the top right corner there, looking at the, uh, that's water up there and just the, the, the concepts of that, okay. Um, and as you can see, that you can see from the, from the middle point, it's looking at like smaller details that you wouldn't have done at GCSE. So that's a, uh, plasma membrane you've got there and it's showing all the different in different sections of it um and i'll just move on moving through oh uh, i can point on here this uh the second picture on the left in the middle is a, a dissection that i probably would have done today with you if we would have been able to be in college it's looking at gills and the uh how they exchange uh, molecules within their, in their body. Um, so uh, we probably would have done that today. Uh, so you, it's just giving you an idea of the different topics that we explore. Uh, disease and viruses are obviously in the news at the moment. We've explored that in more detail. Um, obviously, there's ecology with this, uh, plants, photosynthesis, heart. There's so many different areas. There's not going to be an area where you're not going to find in, you know, not, not going to find this biology course interesting because it branches off into all different concepts. So, um, as I said, uh, the modules are all split up. So uh, module one, as I said, is uh, it's like the practical base skills of the course um, and how you go about completing practicals in different areas using different range of techniques. Uh, module two is the foundation in biology. So they cover the different key fundamental things like cells, biological molecules, enzymes, etc. cell division. They're like the key things you explore. And then uh, the modules then branch off and look into more detail of these things. So, for example, exchange and transport is about the transport systems in animals and plants and the exchange surfaces. Um, like biodiversity and evolution disease, you branch off again and explore these in more detail. Okay, 
Now, as I said, modules five and six are the ones you would do in uh, year two of your course. So uh, in module five, communication homeostasis, you'd like to remember more detail, photosynthesis, for example, and respiration, and the communication among cells, and the communication uh, within the body between plants and animals. And then uh, module six, uh, also look more in detail at ecosystems and populations, look at specific examples of them. Um, yeah, so that just gives a, a, a brief overview of what uh, the course is about there. Um, so, as I've said to you before, um, the modules are all split up and obviously the first well, three modules, module two, three and four, they would go into the assessment that you'd complete um, in year one. So the, the content within those modules you would be assessed upon in year one. So just so we get an idea of, of where, where you're at at that point. But then obviously then in year two you do modules five and six. So all of that information therefore branches down and you'll be tested on three papers that you would do in year two. Okay. Um, and along with that throughout your two years you would do the A-level practical endorsement. OK, so that would filter throughout those uh, modules and, and throughout your two years. OK, so um, uh, this slide just shows uh, the weighting of what your assessments would be in year one. I know I, did, I think I feel like I'm going over assessments and it's, it's going to be part of the course, but obviously it's quite important to know what you, what, how you're going to be assessed. So in year one, and this would give us an overall picture of how we feel you are, you are doing on the course. Obviously, you would have completed four modules. By now, you've completed the four modules. Uh, so um, these will obviously this is what you'd be assessed on and you'd complete two one and a half hour tests both equally weighted okay um, so the breadth one you'd have a, a section called the multiple choice questioning that now uh, you will get lots of practice at the structure of questioning throughout your two years Okay, so the only difference between the two tests is that you have an air, a 20 mark multiple choice question in this assessment and then you get to more structured questions similar to what you would do in the depth. The depth is you just do structured questions. Okay, but these would have an equal weighting and would give us uh, an overall picture of how you can, how you're doing in, in year one. Um, in year two, this is uh, what you will be judged upon. So this is, this is what your A levels will, your grade will come from. OK, so uh, paper one and paper two were 37 percent of your mark. As you can see, they're two and a two hours, 15 minutes long and uh, out of 100. Um, for processes and biological diversity, uh, you will um, have multiple choice questioning in both and then you would get structured questioning. Oops, I've gone too far. Uh, you would get structured questioning um, for each, each one, okay, similar to what you would have done in the depth in year one. Um, the module, there are, are certain modules, and we will inform you of these, okay, that filter into each of these. So you wouldn't be expected to learn, to know, have to know all the modules for you. We well, will have to know them, but I worded that incorrectly. But you would have, uh, for example, the biological processes you have to know about module two, three and five, and the diversity you'd have to know about two, four and six modules. That makes sense, okay? Um, for those assessments. The unified paper, paper three, um, basically you could be asked anything. Um, so it could be on all six modules um, to, that you've done throughout the course. Um, but uh, that's a smaller paper, uh, lower, uh, shorter duration, and the weighting is only 26% for, for that assessment. Um, there's also a practicing endorsement for biology. So, 
throughout the year, uh, throughout your two years, uh, you will complete uh, a minimum of 12 practicals. You, you will do more, but uh, you will do complete a minimum of 12 practicals which contribute to the practical endorsement for biology. And there's a specification that you'll go to, you can say you've got key skills. So these key skills will be really important for employees or universities to know you're able to do these things. Um, so throughout your two years, you will have these required practicals, we call them that, and um, they, they are fitted into the different modules and you'll go through and complete them. Um, you Universities, so if I think of the students who applied for university this year and last year, universities really want this part of your course. They have it as a requirement that you've passed this because obviously these are key skills that you will learn um, which will go into that course. So even if you're not doing a biology course in your university, they're not, they really want this aspect because it's learning key skills that you will obviously use in the future. Um, okay, I'll just move on. Can I say, uh, as we're going along, if you have any questions, please make sure you're asking questions to go along. We're, we're going to pause in a moment and, and I'll try and answer some of the questions that you've got. But keep typing away if, if you're doing so. Um, anyway, why, why study with visit counselors for? So, um, uh, in colleges, uh, so in different colleges in Leicestershire, for example, you could enrol and you could be lost within a crowd. OK, there'll be lots of different people at Counters for you're not going to get that. OK, you will have a more personal learning experience. So you'll have smaller class sizes to allow you to learn in a better environment, in my opinion, and with more support to help you get the best grade possible. Um, I can't stress that highly enough. Okay, we will in in a in a bigger in a large class environment where you've got you know over thirty people, you potentially could get lost in a crowd. You, in that that will not be the case. Okay, you will um, have smaller class sizes, so you're able to interact better with the teacher and with your fellow peers. Okay, um, we have all the special equipment you need to develop your practical skills. Um, We've got everything you need. Uh, we conduct a wide range of experiments and testing to develop your confidence with practical aspects of the course. You can take that into future endeavours, whatever you wanted to do. We offer lots of support, after school intervention each week, a dedicated science study room and helpful and approachable staff. Uh, you teach the specialists with their scientific fields with a wealth of experience and knowledge. And um, we also offer extracurricular experiences. I'm going to touch upon that later in the PowerPoint which widen your horizons, trips, for example, specialist visitors and, and obviously field trips. Um, I'll just move on. So, biology counters for. So in your class, you will have two teachers, okay? And the modules are split between the two teachers. So um, Mrs. Hayes is on here. So me and Mrs. Hayes uh, shared a class last year. I, uh, the Module two, we split amongst us. So three of the chapters I did and three of the chapters Ms. Hayes did. Um, then I would, I take in module three, Ms. Hayes take most of module four, but how it, how, how it ends up, we split the, we split module four at the end, just how it, how it, the number of lessons are. Okay. Um, and then in year, in your second year, again, you will have two teachers and the modules are actually split. So in year third, this year, I shared with Miss Panetta, who's a fellow biology teacher here. She took module five and I took module six. Okay. And then um, we generally finish before Easter. Um, so there we get a small amount of time in both years. So um, in year one, we'd, we finish before Easter and then we'd have some revision time before the end of unit, uh, end of year exams. And then in year two, uh, again, we would actually finish just before the closure of this. Uh, so we've uh, we closed two weeks before Easter. So we would at that point, we actually did start actually, but we'd, we'd started doing revision. So from April to June, we would have done a long revision program to prepare you for your exam. Okay. Um, 
you you provided with a workbook, uh, so a, a textbook uh, uh, in college, which you can uh, hire from, from the live. Uh, there are options to purchase your own. I'll go into different books later in the lesson. Um, can I say that? Uh, here one hour class and one hour home it obviously um students who do this perform better um I, I, if you're in the college i would have shown you how how this works but obviously the ones who perform who actually do who, who do complete an hour um do perform better that's an expectation that we have at counties for uh, at the minute we have intervention so we have intervention sessions on a tuesday that could change next year uh, depending on on um staffing and etc budget sessions to help and support you um and is that we are expecting a minimal grade of the six in your gcse's to be on this course okay it could be uh, but uh, that's the minimum grade um we have oh, fantastic uh, three fantastic teachers i'm joking four fantastic teachers um, uh, who are all approachable. So there's me on the head of the boss, who's uh, technically science here. Miss Brunetta, they're all fantastic. They will all offer you support and help. And uh, get the best you, you can achieve, um, including me, I'm, I'm only joking. Uh, so, right, in Counters 4, the idea would have been, uh, it's unfortunate for the current year 12s. Obviously. Every year now, we aim to go out and do a biology field trip. So, um, September, the year 13, we were able to go and explore different environments so they could complete some of their required practice earlier on. So, uh, um, at the start of September, we went to Norfolk and completed uh, some of these required practicals and i'll be honest it was a fantastic experience um, all the students loved it okay um yeah oh, is it? i'm just gonna pause is that i think i need catching up Uh, sorry, Miss Hayes uh, said there might have been some technical issues there, but we'll, we'll carry on. Anyway, uh, I can't build trip highly enough. Uh, apart from the PAGs, we did a range of different activities. So we did laser tag, which I, I think it was actually really, um, we did bouldering, we did many different activities. Which, you know, um, I thoroughly enjoyed the experience. So um, I fully, um, and obviously you, you do the PAGs as well as then being different. I'm going to pause there now. If you've got any questions, please uh, write them quickly down. Uh, close to the time, actually. I've, I've rattled on there. Uh, uh, so, uh, if you've got any questions, uh, if you want to write them, um, I'm also going to pause there just to make sure I'm conscious that there might have been a few technical issues.
Yeah. Right, sorry. Um, I think we have a few issues there. Um, so uh, there were a few questions that I, I was able to see. Um, so one of the questions was about homework. Yeah, you will get homework as you go along. Um, so you will be expected to complete some homework for, uh, each week for the course. Uh, there's also note taking. Um, there will be note taking as you go along. Uh, obviously, activities as you would be like uh, proper activities you would in in science. Um, I hope that answers the question. You've got more questions on that. I'll hopefully I'll answer that a bit better than I think I have done. Um, the textbook I see was a question. Uh, you, you are you in the case of the textbook. You want to take it out for the year from the library. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, obviously, well, that's an important thing. I'm going to go into some textbooks this lesson. Um, so you'd be able to use it and there's others I'd recommend. Um, I'm going to quickly move on uh, and all the right down at the end and I'll, I'll get answers to you. Get a bit of time at the end so you can you can ask some more questions. Um, so uh, alternatively uh, we offer a, a, a call if you didn't fit the requirements of uh, the biology. So we are now offer an applied science course. Um, yeah, so the of course is an entry point. I, I can't, I can fully recommend this course as well. It goes over a range of different, only we should do biology, there's an aspect of biology, but there are other, other sciences involved. Um, so you do a bit of chemistry and physics. Um, and universities obviously obviously take you on, on with this course also. Um, um, we um, uh, apply science, so explore science in a practical way. Different courses, forty percent coursework, which is slightly different to what you would expect with biology. Uh, if you've got more information on this, please uh, um, speak to email. Uh, uh, her email address is out. Well, Mr. Spock's also uh, head of science. OK, um, you will have some transition work as well. Um, so you've also completed a booklet already, but there's a further booklet I'd like to complete. Now, this some work will um, explore some of the key concepts that you come back in September. So look at magnitude, which is part of the cells topic. And we'll also look at biological molecules. Uh, it's, um, um, it will um, obviously uh, prepare you fully for the upcoming year you're going to have. Okay, uh, you will get sent that this booklet, and it will be expected that you bring it in return in the summer. Okay, um, right. I'm going to move on because I'm conscious of time. Um, what I wanted to touch upon is uh, we're going to do a small practical now, looking at DNA. So. In DNA, you would know that uh, chromosomes are made of long molecules of chemicals known as DNA. Uh, DNA is a polymer, long molecule made up of many repeating units. Uh, um, a very long strand of DNA twist by able to form a double helix structure. Now, in A level, we explore this in more detail, okay? Uh, and we get to know that these repeating nucleotide mon monomers, okay? Um, the nucleotide is formed of pentose sugar, a group, and nitrogen contain organic base. Okay, um, so we get to explore this in more more detail. Now, uh, um, again, anti-parallel chain. Um, um, I don't really want to. Uh, it just uh, summarises the key what DNA is. Uh, but what I wanted to do is. To, to have a go at extracting DNA. So you may have done in uh, in class. 
yes. Uh, but um, can I stress though that it does require alcohol? So um, please, please don't all run and get alcohol now. But um, at your parents' discretion, you would be okay. And use a, a wide variety of fruits to do this. A video on here on this slide you will get where it explains the process. Yes, but we're going to have a quick go at it now. Um, hopefully, I believe you will be able to see me, um, which will be. Okay. Right, so, um, where is it? Uh, Miss Hayes has told me that the sound is going slowly, so uh, slightly, sorry. So, um, I'll give this a go. Anyway, so we have um, here, yeah, let me see. So uh, we're going to try and extract some DNA. Uh, some DNA. Um, how to do this? So I've just got a bag here, okay, uh, a clear plastic bag. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I'm going to use strawberries today. So I've chopped off the ends of the strawberries because the green section of them is hard to break up. So all I'm going to do is, I'm going to just put down there so you can see a bit better. Um, I'm going to put these in this bag. Basically, I'm going to mush it up to break up all of the different break up all the cell walls basically and get so we can get access to the DNA. So I'm just going to squash it all up best I can. Okay. So as you can see here, I'll just squash that all up. There we go. Um, So it's all mushed up like that, okay, as you can see. I'm now going to add 100 milliliters. Oh, I've got that ready, really. 100 milliliters. Oh, bang on, look at that. Bang on, look. Anyway, 100 milliliters of water. Okay, so it's a solution there. I'm also going to add uh, some uh, washing up liquid, okay? So I'm going to a few drops of washing up liquid. Just drop that in there, okay? Just to, so it breaks it up more, the moment the cell membrane, so we're able to extract the DNA. And I'm just going to add a little bit of salt in there as well. Because the DNA, what we want to do is going to make it all come together. Uh, so, I'm going to mix it all up. Mix it all up. There we go. Mix it all up. There we go. Right. The next thing we do is we're going to filter. Uh, I'm going to filter this solution here so this all this out so we basically we all all we want left is the solution basically so uh, let's filter this out so it should look a bit like this. Oh, let's it out. luckily this is not my room it's mr carr's room so let's put it on the table oh well anyway uh so i filtered it out and what you'd be left with is just the solution there Okay, you're just left with a solution. So, uh, what I'm going to do is, grab this. Uh, I'm just going to put a small amount of this solution now into here. Small amount here. Maybe a little bit more. Let's add a little bit more. Go okay, look. Small amount of solution there. Okay. And all I'm going to add now is the alcohol. So I've got ethanol. But you could use uh, uh, vodka. The only thing I recommend is that it's really, really cold. Okay. So I've put in ice today, uh, so it's been in the fridge as well. I'm just going to add a little small section of it. Okay, and what you can see is a precipitate reaction. And as you can see, can you see that the clumps, what you've got there is a clumps there, it looks a bit like cotton wool. That is the DNA coming out of the cells. So if you leave that over time, like proper blue Peter here, I'm going to be proper blue Peter, if you leave it over time, you will be to end up with a solution that looks like that, okay? And what I've extracted there, you should be able to see, is that is the DNA of, um, of the strawberries, okay? So what you'll be able to do that yourself, and you can see the small section of DNA, that's how it's been extracted, okay? You can do this at home, um, so please have a go, um, if you can, um, and I'd like to see how you get on with it, really. Uh, it's just more practical, uh, something to give you a go at. Look, I did quite proud of myself with that. It's actually worked really well. 
Yeah, right, I'm going to go back to the PowerPoint now because we've got a few minutes left. So I believe I do this, and then I click this. That seamless, this seamless. Right, so. Um, If I do this and that, hopefully you'll be able to see my screen presenting. Maybe not. Anyway, we're coming to the end of it anyway. Um, you'll get this PowerPoint. Um, the next section is basically looking at, uh, there we go is looking at the book. So uh, this bottom book at the bottom here is the book that you can get loan from the library uh, and you can get loan for the year um, and you'll be allocated one of those books so you can hire them out. I recommend you purchase though. I like this book, um, the CGP A-Level Biology. Now they are available on Amazon and you can now get a year one and two book combined together. I really like that book. Um, so I'd recommend you, you, you get that. It just looks at the different concepts in, in, more, in, in a different way compared to the top book, okay? And together with both books, I feel, you know, you, you get a good footing of what, what we need to do. Uh, we also offer a biology revision guide, this uh, orange colored one here, okay? Um, and that will also help you in a practice questions and content as well. Um, you will need a folder with dividers because uh, there's lots of modules that we, we, we do also uh, and you can split them up in different sections. Uh, you will be provided with a lab book and um, a lab book will be used for the PAGs where you write up all your work and also need a scientific calculator also because there's a bit of maths in biology that you might not be aware of. Um, basically that's the lesson for today, I feel like I may have rushed it and I've, uh, if you've got any questions, please contact me. Um, you will get sent out the summer transition work, um, which will be emailed to you, which will prepare you for next year. When you come back, there will be a small baseline assessment. Uh, don't panic on this, okay? But there will be a small assessment just to see what, you know, how we, how you are and what, what areas of, we need to concentrate on maybe if there's uh, some weaknesses as a group and finally uh, if you have any concerns or more questions I've put my email address at the bottom here uh, please contact me and I'll uh, answer any questions that you've got. Um, I understand there might have been a few technical problems um, I apologize for them uh, today but hopefully it's given you a, an idea of what the course is about um, and I hopefully you've enjoyed uh, this this practical and this uh, this lesson basically. Um, as I said, any more questions you can feel free to chat on this on here and uh, you can email me. Okay.